what up y'all who is snoop again a day in the life of snoop so if you just saw i've been traveling from location to location meeting with all of my general managers which i generally do on a once a month basis i used to do it once a week now i've dumbed it down to once a month started off right downtown at peter street 327 peter street where is home of Escobar Restaurant and Tapas, our downtown location. I met with my GM and my kitchen manager as we talked about a plethora of different things to increase our patron and customer experience. Um, we're also working on a lot of new events. We just had a crazy Mardi Gras party for Fat Tuesdays, which turned out really, really well. And we want to kind of incorporate some of those things going forward to increase our Tuesday night. We also did vendor comparisons, talking about different places that we're ordering our food from and how we can decrease our costs, as well as getting our patio ready for the spring and summer season. You know, your girl got a birthday coming up in a month, so I'm on them. <laughs> Man, y'all gotta make sure y'all check out my biggest birthday bash, big ass house party. It's going down April 4th, man. We got dancers, swimsuit contests, all kind of fine ass women hosting, the chef, all that, man. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Get on invite right now. Get your tickets. Snoop's Big Ass House Party 2020.invitebrite.com. After that, I then met with my GM and members only. And we talked about some of the events that we're having. Really excited about this comedy night that we're kicking off every single Thursday with comedian K-Dub. Um, we've also got a, a members only prospect night so that we can get more exposure to our membership program. The pressure is on the promo um, as well as um, you know what we talked about with decreasing you know alcohol costs and some of the things that we need to make sure that we're doing um in addition to the promo so thinking about like thursday night this comedy event i had an idea to promote that which is what we used to do here when we had one we would get like these little tickets they were like like this size and we would give those out during the week you know what i mean okay. so like That's good you know no one has money to waste on paying people consistently you know what i'm saying and, and look at how hard you work for your check you know what i mean everybody else needs to be working just as hard after that i then left escobar and traveled to my rest of my newest restaurant in little five points crave restaurant i met with my gm over there and we talked about how we were so excited to now have our liquors license and how we'll be getting our event started within the next couple of weeks. We've got a comedy show, we've got an artist showcase, we've got a card night, as well as a ladies night that's gonna be jumping off every single Wednesday. Super excited about that. Y'all know I gotta host one of them, so y'all come out and sing. But I actually want to host the poker night. A couple guys, one of the guys who it was actually his idea. Mm -hmm. And so I had seen him at Members Only this weekend. And he was like, yeah, you know, don't forget me with that poker night. I'm like, send me your in info. You know, I've already kind of got it going in the works. But I think if we get, even if we can just get a couple people that are, like I, I got a couple people that want to do a spades tournament that night. But I purposely told them to wait because I know that they're drinkers, right. you know what I'm saying? And you know, but I, I think that that Monday night is going to do well for us. Once we get, you know, some groups of people, you know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, that'll be good. Let's make sure that we're having them portion things out, you know, as they come in so that we can continue to, to keep our waste down. Another way, too, is like, for example, like with the menus and the servers, when they're talking to people, like the salmon sa sandwich, um, you know, first of all, a lot of times what people will do, because um, I was just somewhere um, yesterday or the day before somewhere eating, and the first thing they ask is, does anybody have any allergies? You know, so that's a good question to get out there. Uh, you know, when, when we know, like for example, the salmon sandwich, the captain's plate, um, hey, okay, well it does come with bacon, is that okay? You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want to have to throw away a whole sandwich, you know what I mean? Just because it had something as small as bacon on it. After that, I then traveled all the way to the south side and met with my GM of Escobar South Side, which is located at 1140 Mount Zion Road in Morrill, Georgia. We talked about inventory. We talked about setting our pars. We talked about increasing our count on staff. And we talked about something that I'm super excited about, which is bringing on our new kitchen manager. Um, our new kitchen manager is gonna help make sure that our food is consistent and everything goes in line with our current brand that we've created down at the Escobar downtown location. 
after that, <laughs> nah, they went over y'all. <laughs> after that, as I traveled to do some things with my family, I had a phone call with my general manager at Remedy Salon Suites. Yes, I actually have a manager at Remedy Salon Suites. <laughs> um, but anyway, we talked about keeping the business clean, making sure it smells good. Man, don't y'all love walking inside salons that just smell like, like potpourri and <laughs> yeah, keeping the waterfall going. I love that whole little aspect. We got three open suites, suites available at Remedy Salon Suites. Y'all give us a call, 404-600-5484. Ask for Sparkle, she'll give you a tour and get you taken care of. I need them three seats, three suites. <laughs> Rent it out ASAP, man. Thanks for joining me. I'm about to go do something else. <laughs> this is always something coming up, y'all. Always something. But I appreciate y'all riding along with me. Just a reminder to make sure that you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel at Who is Snoop so you can get your daily dosage of financial tips, entrepreneur tips, um, and just to hear my crazy ass talking, what I gotta say. Subscribe, like, and comment on my YouTube channel at Who is Snoop.